I have this um, like friendship necklace. They say partners in crime together. But I have the one that says part I cry. And so he's like rubbing my arm. Oh, I bet this is where it's set. It's so sad all the time. What are you talking about, you crazy kid? I bet this is the part that cries. And he points to my necklace. So that was one dad joke. <laughs> So, James usually has accidents every night. I have a whole package of diapers from when he had to wear diapers. So I've started to put him in those at night and it has saved my sanity. Um, I don't know why I thought that he needed to just be like 100% fully potty trained at the get go. But um, I have saved my sanity of not having to like change those bed sheets and pull stinky pee clothes off of him. Damien had accidents like crazy when he was first potty training and I potty trained him early. I potty trained him right before he turned two and James was like two and a half and Talon didn't potty train until he was like three and a half and, J and Talon never had any accidents so I wonder if it's just like how old they are it's easier for them to hold it while they sleep. But yeah, these, am I talking about your <laughs> your accidents? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yesterday, James and I went on a little date, and it was a lot of fun. Did you have fun on our date yesterday? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe it was a bit traumatizing for him. Went and bought some clothes, so I've got like some Valentine clothes for the kids now, and um, bought myself something. And um, I mean, none of the older kids wanted to go, so I just took James. So I decided I'm gonna take him to Yogurt Land because um, we've been to like a frozen yogurt place before, and it was fun. Oh, he's telling me, is it where you go pee and something like that? <laughs> anyway. Um, none of the older kids wanted to go, so I just took James and we went to the yogurt land place. And, um, he had so much fun picking out what he wanted, and then we sat down, and I took a bite with him, and he screamed. Like, not just like a little one, but like a full-on scream in the middle of this tiny little store, and it was so embarrassing. And I was like, stop listen you have to share with me or we're gonna go to the car and i'm gonna eat it by myself and after a little bit of fussing he finally stopped caring that i was eating it too so then we ended up having a good date are you santa Trying to head to Muggies. This is good job. <laughs> this is the part of a toddlerhood that drives me nuts. You want to go somewhere, but as a mom, you got to be patient because the little boy wants to buckle himself up. And he's doing pretty good. I didn't think he'd be doing this good. You got it. Oh, good job, man. High five. Ow. Oh, and he's like, no, hand me my stuff. It's messy. Kids, pause, mess. Talon, are you almost done with yours? Yeah. <laughs> really hard. Oh, it's probably a little bit tight, huh? No, it's not. Oh, it is. Yes, my jacket. Yeah. Now I think we're ready to go on the road. Do you need to go back in to get anything else? You went yeah. back for your basketball. Do you need yeah. anything else? Yeah. What? Nothing. 
<laughs> You're hilarious. Yeah, he's like stopped everything so he can get his basketball. But it feels pretty good outside, doesn't it? Yeah! Like, it's gloomy and there's a breeze, but it's like, I don't know, it feels good. It's like about time that we start being able to get out of this house. I am <laughs> we're about, about to lose time our mind. We get the trampoline up so I can play. Oh yeah, you did get a basketball thing. No, we're gonna wait a couple more months before we put out the basketball hoop because it is still February. We still possibly could get snow. We probably won't, but we still possibly could get snow. And I'm a little worried because we really haven't been on the trampoline since Talon broke his arm in October. So, <laughs> I'm really worried that something like that's gonna happen because that sucked. That's just sucked. But, what? But I don't think I'll be very entertained in doing cannonballs now. Yeah, you're not going to do cannonballs with little people on the trampoline ever no, again. I'll be doing some basketball. Oh. Anyway, but we are on our way to Muggies. It is Super Bowl Sunday, and we haven't watched an ounce of football today. To There's a bird going to Muggies' house, too. Yeah. We'll have to see it there. Maybe we can beat it there. Well, after a... After an eventful drive to Muggy's house with Mr. Dad Jokes over here that you can't see, Damien, telling some funny jokes, we finally got to Muggy's, pulled in the driveway, parked, turned off the car, and then realized we had had forgotten to put yeah, those back. We had forgotten to take those back. So now we're driving back into town to take them back because I'm not being charged double for them. So, that's what we're doing. I'm a little irritated that we got all the way there and we have to drive back. And also, when you said the dad, I was the dad jokes, Dad jokes are just a thing, like just really lame jokes that you think are hilarious. What were you saying? What was one of your jokes that you said? Oh, okay. I have this um, like friendship necklace, you know, like the heart with the <laughs> the heart that's like has the crack down the middle, and then the one friend gets the one, and the other gets the other, and it says. Part, like they say partners in crime together but I have the one that says part I cry <laughs> and so he's like rubbing my arm oh I bet this is where it's set it's so sad all the time like, what what are you talking about you crazy kid I bet this is the part that cries and he points to my necklace so that was one dad joke. Then we were driving and we see chickens. And I go, Damien, did you see the chickens? Yeah, I'm looking at one right now. He's looking at me. Then Talon starts talking. Oh, and I hear one too. Oh my gosh, like he's been spending too much time with me. I'm the dad joke person. And then we're driving and music's playing and it's the Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande, whatever, anyway. It comes on, and Talon's like, what does he say? Something but something. Yeah, he goes, something but something but. <laughs> like, B-U-T-T -T instead of something about you or whatever she says. Anyway, and he did that for a good minute straight, so that was fun. So, our drive has been one filled with interestingness. And, of course, that happens on the drive here. Get out of the car and go drop out the movies. No. <laughs> Is that a puppy? What are you doing? Are you watching Jumanji? Yeah? Jumanji? Watching Jumanji. The other two boys went outside to help Grandpa do something, and Jamesy's just 
sitting here watching Jumanji. You you like this movie? What? What's going on? What's he doing? He's getting the thing here. They love this movie. They already watched it once. He's rewound it and he's watching it again. It's a little loud. But he's having fun. What are you playing? Mm. You playing with the tanks and the Jeep with the rockets on top? Mm. Where are all your soldiers? Are they in there? Hey, yeah. <laughs> are yeah. they? Completely away from the kitchen. Ooh, Damien's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> He's buckled himself up, and I think I just might leave you here. He wants out. We made it home from Muggies, and I brought this inside because one of the things doesn't work. Hurts this one, and it. So you can't lift this up, and so it's too small for Talon. So I'm gonna fix it, but I'm gonna get my. Oh, I unbuckled him. Buckle back up. Um, gonna get some of my nightly chores done, bathe the kids, and get them off the bed, so that we can start our day tomorrow off right, clean, and ready for the day. Yeah, are you doing it by yourself? Yeah, you're so good. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? So, we're going to end this here. Damien just turned off the shower, so I think it's about time for these kids to have a bath. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Can you say bye? Bye.